Tonight, some 180 members of the 112th Engineering Battalion of the Ohio National Guard are home with their families. The soldiers arrived home this morning after a one-year tour of duty in eastern Afghanistan. News Channel 5's Ted Curtan was there for the homecoming. The homecoming celebration started in Brook Park as buses carried the troops past folks waving flags and kids from summer camp. We were coming out to support the troops. We did some face painting. We talked about the importance. The motorcycle and police escorted procession then made its way to the Civic Auditorium in Lakewood, where there were hugs and tears and kisses for new babies. He worked in maintenance and I worked in uh, logistics. Among the nearly 200 members of the 112th, which served command and control and support functions for Task Force Predator, were the Kaisers, Uncle Randy, and nephew Donald. Having family members uh, made it a lot easier. It really did. A little bit so more I'm, motivating than anything, but I'm very proud of him. The soldiers of the 112th Engineer Battalion. Inside the auditorium, a roar of thousands as the heroes were presented. Welcome home, guys. Job well done. And welcome home to all that soldiers. We've missed them all, and we're glad to have them in our arms again. Thankfully, all members of Ohio's 112th returned safely home. But there were prayers today for the eight members of the bigger task force who died in service during this unit's one year deployment in eastern Afghanistan. Bottom line, this task force, task force predator, was mission with demanding, vital, dangerous missions. Through your actions, soldiers, you've made this country more secure. Ohio and America are indebted to each of you. On your side in Lakewood, I'm Ted Cortan, News Channel 5. While in Afghanistan, the Ohio soldiers earned 36 Bronze Star Medals, 31 Combat Action Badges, and two Purple Hearts.